Hello and welcome to this video on OpenStack Neutron Ports. In this video, I will show you step by step when and what type of OpenStack ports are created when you configure networking in your OpenStack cloud. OpenStack Neutron supports three core entities or objects. Ports are one of them, the other two are network and the subnet. Since ports are logical or abstract entities, Neutron relies on plugins and drivers to ensure that the actual network configuration is done when ports are created or deleted. If you use Horizon Dashboard, you will not see a specific action to create a port. Through Horizon, ports are created indirectly via other user operations such as creating an instance. But if you use Neutron CLI, you will be able to create a port as a standalone entity. And this has several benefits. So why are ports important? As mentioned earlier, network configuration related to interfaces and IP addresses are done when ports are created and deleted. So effectively, ports represent the entry and exit point for data traffic. The virtual NIC for layer 2 traffic uh, and uh, for a router uh, layer 3 traffic are represented by ports in OpenStack. In order to understand the different types of ports and the life cycle, we will use this topology. It has two networks, N1 and N2, that are connected by router R1. The router also has an external network configured as a gateway. Using OpenStack, I will recreate this topology step by step and I will show you when and how OpenStack ports are created for this topology. So I have my OpenStack setup running here and as you can see there are no networks or routers at this stage. What I will do is run a small script which will create the three networks and the router R1 as I showed in my topology. When the script ends, you will see that on the network topology, you have three networks and a router. And I will show you that at this stage, there are no ports created. So we have our network and the router. So let's go and see the command for port list. So the neutron port list command shows that there are no ports created as of now. The first thing to create a port is uh, that I will do is associate this router and the external network. Basically do a set gateway on the router with the external network ID. So there is the router gateway set command. Once that is done, uh, we will refresh the topology and we can see that the router is now has external network as its gateway. Now when we print the list in port list, you can see that a port called network colon router gateway is now created. This is a specific type of port which is created when you do a set gateway command. Next I'm going to associate, I'm going to add the two uh, tenant networks N1 and N2 or rather their subnets. Uh, as interfaces to the router. Again, I have a script for that, so I'm going to use that to make it easy. <coughs> and here you can see all the networks are now associated with the router. So let's uh, now print and see what we see on the port list. As we can see now, two router interface ports are created. And this is because we did an add uh, interface to a router and chose the two networks. Next, we'll create an instance on each of the network and see what happens.
So I'm creating a VM for network end one. And see what happens to our ports now. <clears throat> As you can see, we had the moment we created the instance, we now have two additional ports. One is the DHCP port and the second one is the Nova network port. Uh, why are there two, two ports? So when I created my network, I enabled DHCP server on it. So when the first VM is created on that network, OpenStack Neutron automatically creates a DHCP server and the port associated with the DHCP server is called network DHCP. Also, I chose one interface for my virtual machine and which got the IP address of 10.10.10.2. 10, 10, 10, um, this IP address is associated with this particular port. So how can we see all the IP addresses? We can use the minus C fixed IPs uh, option. So here you can see the virtual machine interface or the NOVA port has 10.10.10.2 10, 10, 10, which is matching the IP address assigned to my VM and the DHCP server which has to be on the same subnet has been given an IP address of 10.10.10.3 10, 10, 10, and uh, since the router is added uh, as an interface, the networks are added as interface on the router, the dot one IP addresses on each subnet is associated with the router for the subnets. So with that we come to the end of this demo. Let's do a quick recap of what we saw in this video. We saw that ports are important entities in OpenStack Neutron and different types of ports are created as part of different user operations. For example, when a set gateway is performed on a router, the port type created is network colon router gateway. And when an add interface or a subnet is done on a router, the port type is network colon router interface. And when an instance or a virtual machine is created, actually there are two types of ports created. Uh, one is for the compute Nova, which represents the uh, virtual uh, uh, network interface for the VM and a DHCP port represented by network colon DHCP. Thank you.